Since overcoming the Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s and prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, Indonesia has successfully maintained steady economic growth and significantly reduced its poverty rate. Indonesia's success story is closely linked to its efforts to reform its public financial management system since the early 2000s. Public Finance Management Multi-Donor Trust Fund, or PFM-MDTF, has been playing a major role in the process by providing analytical and advisory services on PFM. It has also been complementing the government's financial management information system called SPUN, which was established through investments from the World Bank's GFM RAP project by ensuring its sustainability and integration with other systems and supported by World Bank's development policy loans. PFM MDTF Phase 1 has channeled funds amounting to 20 million US dollars. It continued with Phase 2, amounting to 25 million dollars from the government of Switzerland, European Union, and Canada. Since 2007, the MDTF program helped enhance Indonesia's tax administration, promote budget efficiency, improve subnational public financial management, and support digital transformation in the Ministry of Finance. As a result, the MDTF has contributed to the increasing number of registered individual and corporate taxpayers in Indonesia. It has enabled Indonesia to implement new systems that allow the country to annually save millions of U.S. dollars in printing and interest payments. The SPUN, in particular, has contributed to improving accuracy, timeliness, and comprehensiveness of financial accounts and reports of the central government, leading to an unqualified opinion from the Supreme Audit Institution in the past four consecutive years. The MDTF has also supported the creation of Digital Transformation Vision to modernize the Ministry of Finance, as well as Enterprise Architecture Blueprint to assist the Ministry in designing the plan to achieve its strategic objectives effectively. However, the work is not yet complete. By 2025, Indonesia aims to achieve increase in registered taxpayers, increase in tax filing ratio, improvement in capital budget execution ratio, reduction in deviation between plan and budget, unqualified audit opinion, increase in capacity of governmental internal audit units, increase in budget allocation for gender equality program, increase in revenue collection, increase in intergovernmental transfers linked to performance indicators, a well-designed subnational chart of accounts and budget classification structure, a reduction in fiscal inequality. The government of Switzerland, European Union, and Canada have already signed administration agreements for implementing Phase 3 of PFM MDTF. Together, the three donors contribute up to $21.48 million to support Indonesia's PFM reforms in the next five years. PFM MDTF has entered its Phase 3 in November 2020 and will continue until December 2025 with an aim to support Indonesia in collecting more and spending better. This would be done by enhancing Indonesia's performance orientation in revenue policy and management, expenditure policy and management, and subnational public resource management. These will be facilitated by digital technology foundations and gender equality enhancement programs while contributing to enhancement of resilience to climate change and disaster risks. The ultimate goal is to improve service delivery to government programs by optimizing public spending and revenues for the greater good of its people. And the journey continues. <laughs>